Hi there. Who's ready for some rainy stories today? I know I am. I hope you are. And my friend, Froggy loves rainy day stories. Is that right? Because frogs love being wet. So if they love being wet in the rain, well, I'm sure they'll love stories all about rain. So let's have our first one. And it's called Rain. It's written by Linda Ashman with illustrations by Christian Robinson as published by Houghton Mifflin. Now there we are. We're in the city. And over here in this building, you can see the shadow in the window. That's where the grumpy old man lives. And over in this building, you see another shadow. That's where the little boy lives. Rain, says the grouchy old man. Rain, says the little boy. Nasty galoshes. That's another word for boots. Blasted overcoat. Oh, there goes my hair, as he puts on his hat. The little boy's mom said, is it raining cats and dogs? It's raining frogs and pollywogs. Hippity hop. Good morning, sir, said the doorman of the Grumpy Band's building. Hardly, he replies. Dang, puddle. Good morning, young man, said the doorman at the other apartment building. Ribbit, said the little boy. Enjoy your paper, said the man at the newsstand. Hmm, just more bad news. The fruit and vegetable man said, how are you, Mr. Frog? And the little boy said, hoppy, hoppy, hoppy. They both get to the Rain and Shine Cafe. Finally, says the grumpy old man. We're here, says the little boy. Coffee black, orders the grumpy old man. Cocoa and cookies, please, says the little boy. Now the man sits at the table and then gets his cup of coffee. The boy and his mom sit at another table with their cocoa and cookies. Yum, delicious. And they both get ready to go at the exact same time. Watch out, said the grumpy old man. Sorry, said the boy. Ribbit, said the boy, offering the man a cookie. The man just walked away. Hmm, said the little boy. <gasps> his hat. The little boy picked up the hat and ran out the door after the grumpy old man. Hey, wait, he calls. You, said the grumpy old man. <laughs> the little boy puts on the grumpy old man's hat and says right back to him, you, acting just like the grumpy old man. He gives the grumpy old man his hat. And the man is smiling a bit now. That one too, he says. Mine, says the little boy. And the grumpy old man puts on the frog hat. Ribbit, asks the little boy. Yum, said the man, who now is eating the cookie. The little boy waves goodbye. Welcome back, sir. And you know what the grumpy old man said? Ribbit. I'm glad he found that you can have fun on a rainy day. Just change your attitude a little, right? Well, I've got five green and speckled frogs, just like this one, who sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs, yum, yum. Now one jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs, glub, glub, now four green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs, glub, glub. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs, glub, glub.
Now two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs, yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog, glub, glub. Now you know what I like to do with the last verse, don't you? I like to sing it fast. Can you keep up with me? Okay. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log, eating some most delicious bugs, yum, yum. Now he jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. <laughs> well, we're gonna have another story. And this is called The Ants Go Marching. And you probably have heard this song about some ants, the little bugs that crawl along the ground, but these are not little bugs. They are women, ants or nannies. This is written by Maury Manning and published by Boyd's Mill Press. Oh, rat-a-tat-tat, oh, rat-a-tat-tat, ba-rump, ba-rump, ba-rump. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one. The little one stops to bang on her drum. And they all go marching down to the town in the rain, in the rain. A rat a tat tat, a rat a tat tat, ba rump, ba rump, ba rump. Do you see them? One, two, three, four, five. Well, the ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, the little one stops to fix her shoe. She got water in her boot. And they all go marching down in the town to get out of the rain. A rat a tat tat, a rat a tat tat, ba rump, ba rump, ba rump. Well, the ants go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three, the little one stops to look and see. Oh, she's at the bakery and there's a really pretty cake in there. And they all go marching down to the town in the rain, in the rain. A rat a tat tat, a rat a tat tat, ba rump, ba rump, ba rump. Well, the ants go marching four by four, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching four by four, the little one stops to take one more. Thank you, sir. And they all go marching down to the town in the rain, in the rain. A rat a tat tat, a rat a tat tat, a rump, a rump, a rump. Now the ants go marching five by five, hurrah. Hurrah! The ants go marching five by five. Hurrah! Hurrah! The ants go marching five by five. The little one stops to shout, surprise! And they all go marching down to the town in the rain, in the rain. A rat a tat tat, a rat a tat tat, a rump, a rump, a rump. Now the ants go marching six by six. Hurrah! Hurrah! The ants go marching six by six. Hurrah! Hurrah, the ants go marching six by six. The little one stops to pick up her sticks. And they all go marching down to the town in the rain, in the rain. A rat a tat tat, a rat a tat tat, a rump, a rump, a rump. Now the ants go marching seven by seven. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching seven by seven. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching seven by seven. The little one stops to look at the heavens. Can you look up at the sky or pretend to look up at the sky? I mean, what do you think they were seeing? A rat a tat, a rat a tat, a rump, a rump, a rump, boom! Well, the ants go marching eight by eight, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching eight by eight, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching eight by eight. The little ones runs to open the gate. 
and they all come marching back from the town in the rain, in the rain. A rat a tat a rat a tat a rump a rump a rump boom. Well, the ants go marching nine by nine, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching nine by nine, hurrah, hurrah. The ants come marching nine by nine. The little one stops to join the line. There she is. And they all come marching back from the town in the rain, in the rain. A rat a tat tat, a rat a tat tat, a rump, a rump, a rump, boom. Well, the ants come marching ten by ten, hurrah, hurrah. The ants come marching ten by ten, hurrah, hurrah. The ants come marching ten by ten. The little one says, let's do it again. In the rain, in the rain, a rat a tat tat, a rat a tat tat, a rump, a rump, a rump. Boom. So they got down to town and back fast because of that rain. Well, can you shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake, shake, shake your sillies out and wiggle your waggles away. And can you clap, clap, clap your crazies out, clap, clap, clap your crazies out, clap, clap, clap your crazies out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you stretch, stretch, stretch your stretchies out? Stretch, stretch, stretch your stretchies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch your stretchies out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you stand up? Because the next thing you get to do is jump. Can you jump, jump, jump your jiggles out? Jump, jump, jump your jiggles out. Jump. Jump, jump your jiggles out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you yawn? <sighs> yawn your sleepies out, yawn. <sighs> yawn your sleepies out, yawn. <sighs> yawn your sleepies out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you shake, shake? Shake your sillies out, shake, shake, shake your sillies out, shake, shake, shake your sillies out and wiggle your waggles away. Well, those ladies, the ants or the nannies or the maids, whoever they were, they didn't get wet. Did you notice that they all had big black umbrellas so they wouldn't get soaked? And that's the title of our next book, Soaked. And it's about a bear and a bunny and a badger. Can you tell who doesn't like the rain? <laughs> this book is by Abby Cushman. It's her first book. It's published by Viking. And there's the first drop of rain. Look at all this rain. Everything is dreary. Everything is drenched and no one is happy. Not that badger. I thought he was. Not that bunny. Not that hula hooping moose. And especially not me, said the bear. Because the rain ruins everything. Ice cream cones, oh, sand castles, cashmere sweaters, all the things that bears love. What's that you say? Why don't we just go inside my cave until the rain stops? All right. Great idea. There's the moose going whoosh, whoosh, whoosh with his hula hoop and whoosh, whoosh, whoosh with his other hula hoop and whoosh, whoosh, whoosh with his third hula hoop. Doesn't feel crowded at all in here. Yes, it does. 
And sure, I'd love to use my umbrella, said Bear, the blue one with the bumblebees on it. But everyone looked and no one can find it. Badger said she found her blue bumblebee umbrella. Hmm, but not mine. Blah. I guess I'll just go and sit on my log and wallow. What's wallow mean? Well, he's going to sit there and feel very sad for himself and go, blah. Oh, where did that hula hoop go? Under the tree, yes. Wait a minute. We can't have a hula hooping moose without a hula hoop. Can we? So Bunny climbed up on Badger and Badger climbed up on Bear. Great, we got it. Now I can return to wallowing on my whoosh. Did he slip? I think he did. In the great big puddle. Oh. Me? said Bear. You want me to try the hula hoop? Seriously? Okay, fine, but I won't have any fun. There, I did it. Totally unfun. Just like I thought. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need a moment to myself. see what he's doing? He's hula hooping in the puddle. Splish, splash, 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 splish, splash, whirr. Huh, look at all this rain. Everyone is splashing. Everyone is soaked. It's so splishy and splashy and silly and soggy. It's so, oh, did the rain stop? Blah, said the bear. It's too sunny. <laughs> he just is a grump. Maybe he should meet the man in the apartment. Although I don't think he's grumpy anymore. Well, let's see, which finger play should we do now? Hmm. You certainly can't be, well, maybe you could be a bear. Can you sit up very tall? That bear climbed into a cave with his friends, but I'm thinking maybe we could climb our bear over a mountain and you can be the mountain. Put your bear right on your shoulder. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. To see what he could see. To see what he could see. And what did he see? Put your bear back up there. The other side of the mountain the other side of the mountain, the other side of the mountain was all that he could see. Well, we're gonna have another story about somebody who doesn't like the rain. This is Caddy Jane, who hated the rain. It's written and illustrated by Valerie Gorbachev and it's published by Boyd's Meals Press. Let's take a look at the very beginning page. There she is inside, looking out the window, looking at the rain and not being very happy about it. Caddy Jane did not like rainy days. They were gray and dreary and wet. There she is hiding. Why don't we read a book until the rain stops, said Mama. Or we could play a game. Would you like a cookie? I just baked some. No, thank you, said Caddy Jane. 
I don't want any cookies. I don't want to read or play a game. It's no use trying to cheer me up. I can't do anything when it's raining. Oh, what a shame, said Mama. Oh, look, your friends are here. Maybe Piggy and Froggy and Goose can help you feel better. Hello, Mrs. Cat. Hi, Catty Jane. Isn't this a wonderful rainstorm? Wonderful, said Catty Jane. It's terrible. I hate the rain. Please come in, kids, said Mama. I love the rain, said Piggy. I love taking a walk under my big, beautiful umbrella. I love wearing my pretty new raincoat and matching boots. Not me, said Caddy Jane. I can't stand getting wet. I love to stroll on the bridge and watch the raindrops splash into the river, said Froggy. They make such a beautiful picture on the water. Not me, said Caddy Jane. I don't like being outside when it rains. I love to dance and sing in the rain, said Goose. I'm not even afraid of thunder and lightning. I'm afraid of thunder and lightning, even when I'm inside, said Caddy Jane. Who would like some cookies, asked Mama. Mmm, thanks, said Piggy. Hey, I have a great idea. Let's have a rainy day party right here in the house. And then Caddy Jane won't have to worry about getting wet. A rainy day party, said Caddy Jane. What's that? It's a party with cookies and umbrellas and dancing. It will be fun. I don't know if I would like that, said Caddy Jane. I know a game we can play at our party, said Froggy. We can pretend to be raindrops splashing into the raindrops river. But what about the thunder and lightning? Asked Caddy Jane. They're pretending the rug is the river. No problem, said Goose. Froggy and I will play music and you can dance and we'll make so much noise you won't hear the thunder. We can close the curtain so you won't see the lightning, said Piggy. Well, I do love to dance, said Caddy Jane. Soon they were having so much fun that Caddy Jane forgot all about the rain. Why look, cried Froggy, the rain has stopped. Now we can play outside. Hooray, shouted the others, let's go. Let's splash through the puddles, cried Piggy. Whee! Oh no, said Caddy Jane. I don't like getting wet. But I do love a rainy day party. Make room for me. Whee! Well, I'm glad she changed her mind. Well, I think we could do one more finger play and we could probably do one about some other animals that don't mind the rain. Can you put up your five fingers again? They're not gonna be monkeys. Mm -mm. They're going to be ducks. Five little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. The mama duck said quack, 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 but only four little ducks came back. Four little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only three little ducks came back. Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only two little ducks came back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only one little duck came back. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but none of the five little ducks came back. So the sad mother duck went out that day 
over the hills and far away. Mama Duck said, quack, 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 quack. And all of the five little ducks came back. And Mama was so happy to see them, she gave each one of them a great big kiss. And the ducklings were so happy to see their Mama, they kissed her back. Well, we have one more short book, and I thought we'd end on a real positive note with our books. This is called I Love the Rain, and I think Caddy Jane learned to love the rain. This is written by Margaret Park Bridges and illustrated by Christine Davigny, and this book is published by Chronicle Books. Look at those children having fun with their, actually, I think it's, no, it's several children. I was going to say I thought it was all the same little girl, but I see pants and a coat and a backpack. So maybe it's two children. We'll have to find out. Oh, I hate the rain is how it starts. As I wait for the bus home, I huddle under my umbrella, but Sophie turns hers upside down. You're all wet, I say. What's so great about being dry, she answers. Look at that puddle, Molly. It's a face with raindrop freckles. Hmm, I say. And see the shiny wet street? Doesn't it remind you of your best black party shoes? Maybe, I say. And the leaves floating down the gutter, they're like little runaway rafts. I look real hard. Rafts for ants, I ask? Yes, ants riding the rapids, heading for a waterfall. Inside the bus, we watch the raindrops race down the windows. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Brum, brum. What's that sound on the floor, asked Sophie. Tap dancers. I jump in a whole chorus line on the stage above us. We tap our toes all the way to our stop. What's the dancing sound that they're hearing? It's raindrops hitting the top of the bus. Now, see how the rain makes the street steam, I say? <laughs> like plates of fresh hot pasta. Sophie licks her lips. What's for dessert? Sugar cookies with sprinkles, I say got a leaf with, I don't know, I think it's raindrops on it. The raindrops fall on my face like confetti in a parade. We're the band leaders, Molly and the crowd is cheering. We begin to sing, sun, sun, go away. <laughs> the rain feels like kisses from the sky, Sophie giggles, or kisses from my mother. But not a Slurpee is kisses from Rufus. Careful girls, you're gonna get all wet, Mama warns. <laughs> What's so great about being dry, I ask. And you knew how it was going to end, didn't you? I love the rain. Do you like to go out and stand in the rain sometimes? Catch the raindrops on your tongue or have them stream down your face? Well, can you wiggle all your fingers and wiggle your toes, wiggle your shoulders, and wiggle your nose? Can you wiggle your elbows and Slap your knees and stretch your arms out. And then get ready, please, because I think it's time for the flannel board. Right. So let's see here what we're going to need on here. Some big dark clouds. Some big dark clouds.
raindrops falling from some big dark clouds. A thunder clap and lightning. A thunder clap lightning. And raindrops falling from the big dark clouds. Should we do it again? Some big dark clouds. Some big dark clouds. Raindrops falling from some big dark clouds. Lightning strike. Thunder clap, raindrops falling from some big dark clouds. Just a quick one today. So you can sing rain, rain, go away, or you can have fun in the rain, whatever. Be like Caddy Jane at the beginning, or you can be like a frog and just enjoy. Should we say goodbye? Bye-bye. Thank you for joining us, and we'll be back with another story time online another day.